What is going on guys? Fishing today with the Ancient. We are out here on a river that if you guys are old subscribers, we filmed a video here back in 2017. We are in our kayaks. This is my dad's Hobie. This is mine. I have an Outback. He has a pro angler for you kayak nerds out there. We actually might start doing some kayak fishing tournaments yes. next year. So that should be fun. Anyway, we are smallmouth river fishing today and then we have a nice little barbecue on the truck um not on top of the truck on the bed of the truck let's but stick with the bed, yeah, yeah well anyway let's get out there and let's get fishing for some smallies man i am gonna give get big muscular beautiful legs by the whoa by the end of the summer if i don't destroy my uh my fins first um anyway this hobie the leg workout that you get on the daily is amazing anyway right over there you see we have this line of rocks and it's actually interesting because they change it every time they bring a tractor out here and because uh, they use this river for irrigation so they come out here and they build little wing dams like this so on the other side of this wing dam is the first place we're going to try fishing should be good let's see what's on the other side nice oh man yeah this looks really good really really good let's fish here this looks real interesting here Got a little eddy pool. Those are always good to try. But the main, right there, right out where that water swirls around, that's that's gonna be money right there, I think. I'm not even gonna put any, um, I'm not even gonna put any scent on it. I think we're gonna just get it just like this. Just cast it right out there. See what the current's gonna do. Got him. First fish. He picked it up when it came through the eddy. Whoop, a little tiny smallie. Not a keeper, but they're in there. All right, so my dad just caught one, guys. My first lure of the day is this little Dry Creek Outfitters changeable craw tube. Guys, this, this tube is magic. I don't know what it is. There is something about the way it looks underwater in our rivers here in Idaho, and I have to imagine other parts of the country it's the same, but I know that for sure here in Idaho, this is a smallmouth killer right here. I'll put a link to this in the description. In fact, I'll get more into detail about these baits as the video goes on, but we're gonna start the day off with this little tube right here on a jig head. I think that's a three eighth ounce jig head, eight pound test line, a Yuri fishing rod, and a Shimano reel. All right, guys, we are just fishing this little eddy right under here. Oh, my line snapped. That was a big fish, yeah, was it? <laughs> <laughs> right there. Gosh, my drag is set. He just took off and I set the hook in between us. It snapped the old eight pound test there. Well guys, that stinks. Anyway, here's my here's the prototype of Ace Video's tube box. Guys, This is these are my favorite tubes right here. All my favorite Drag Creek Outfitters tubes. I'll put a link to them in the description. It's the ultimate starter kit. It even comes with jig heads. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link to it in the description below. So no fish at this spot, guys, but we're going to head right over, right behind that piling there. Let's sneak around through the current, and we'll go right behind there and try to fish that fast current. Maybe there'll be a big smallie hanging out there. Ah, perfection. Perfection. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Let's cast it right against that wall. Ooh, beautiful. Right where the shade meets the sunshine against a wall. Got one. Oh, he just smoked it. First fish on for me. I can tell it's a smallmouth by the way it fights. Not a big guy, but first fish of the day. Got the skunk out of the boat. No, sir. Oh, he just went. Just went in the hole there. Guys, on that Dry Creek tube, like I say, if you guys want to check these out, I'll put a link to my special Dry Creek box in the description below. Ooh, you know what? Right along those trees looks hot. There's a fish jumping right over by this tree. It doesn't look like he's very big, but there's got to be a reason he's jumping. So let's see if we can't. Up by the branch over there hanging down. Let's see if we can get something. Got him. That was something. Fish on. Good fish.
Oh, come on. I got to at least see what. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? He got me on a rock and broke the line. Oh, yeah. You can feel the line is all frayed. Criminy. Got one. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Do you see that jump? Holy mackerel! Man, these river smallmouth fight so hard. Oh, I think he's a keeper. I'm pretty sure he's. Uh huh. I know he is. Ah, my dad has the stringer, guys. We are having a little smallmouth dinner today. 12 inch or so that is what i'm talking about nice little river smallmouth we got them on a stringer because we are going to keep a couple of them today to eat have a little picnic little cookout they are there we go got him feels like a solid fish got my drag set light because i don't want to hook up on a fierce like three pounder guys and have them just snap the line Always better to play it safe with these bad boys. You know what? He's actually a little short, looks like. Looks like about 11, I mean, just barely, but looks like 11, 11 and a half. He wanted that tube right there <laughs> on a jig head. That is so cool. There we go. That's a decent fish. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Come to Papa. Oh, yeah. I don't want to lose him. I've already lost two of these guys. But I just have to kind of let them play out because I don't... There we go. Come on. <laughs> he keeps making. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get over here. We're get him up here. There we go. Woohoo! That is. That's a pretty one. Man. Nice. <laughs> All right. You get back in there. And go make some babies. See how the the current sweeps by. We're sitting right in the calm spot, and we're gonna cast right to the edge where the current sweeps by, but then the eddy meets it. So there's this kind of a, a, what would you call it? Just like a really rough spot in the water where the current is meeting. And that's a lot of times, oh, I just had one. I just had one. Oh yeah, right under that tree. I missed him. I missed him. I am missing some fish today, boys. Got him. Fine. Got him that Oh, my drag is set too light. Ooh -hoo. Right under that tree over there. Oh, it's a keeper. I can land it. How much fun. How much fun. The pure strength. Oh, my line is all frayed up. He frayed me up on those rocks really well. Shoo! Look at that, boys. Yes! <laughs> beautiful, beautiful fish right in the top of the mouth with that dry creek tube. Old ugly. That is what I am talking about. Ah, excellent. Woo! Man, that's almost too beautiful to eat. Ah, we'll eat them. All right, guys, got two fish in the cooler. My dad has a cooler on his kayak. Drop them in there. You know what? Let's do. Let's cast it right in the middle of the current. All this strong stuff. And as I, as I just drift down, we'll have the tube drift down with us if it doesn't get snagged. But maybe there's a great big one, you know, like dominating the middle of the current. And he'll see this little tube swim by and he'll scoop it up. I got one. <laughs> Don't know if it's a giant. Oh, it's a not a bad little smallie. 
my drag is maybe set a little bit light but i really don't want to hook up on a three or four pounder and just my line snaps like it did the first part of the day this is so much fun this this is a hoot in a kayak on the river catching smallmouth Yep, just a little squirt. Well, I was hoping for a big one, but hey, he was right in the middle of the current though, just like I had hoped. <laughs> well guys, the day of fishing is done. Let's get to the cooking. So we have here, my friends, everything we need for the cook up. We've got a pot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fry up the smallmouth deep fried. We got some Louisiana kitchen fish fry mix, vegetable oil, some various uh, spices there. I'm not sure if all of those will come into play. We got salt and pepper, chili, lime. We'll see what we do there. We also have potatoes and onions, fresh lemon. We have the stove set up on this little wooden thing so we don't burn the back of the truck there. Got the gas. And over here is where we will assemble the fried bass sandwiches. We've got some uh, fresh dill chips right there best foods mayonnaise the only mayonnaise to get and a couple of cold beers i'll have to get those back in the cooler in a second but we are going to make some fried smallmouth sandwiches but first we have to fillet some smallmouth here oh man beautiful gosh i was happy with this one then we caught this nice porker here these should make some great fish sandwiches i'm just gonna fillet them traditional fillet way while I'm doing this, my dad's actually over there fishing, and he's trying to get a few more bites. We're trying to see, we've never caught small onions on top waters, so I have a top water tied on for him there. He's using my rod, and uh, we're gonna see if he can catch, it, catch any on a top water. Check this out, guys. This came out of the smaller smallmouth stomach. We have a little tiny crawdad and a little baby bass. You know, I've seen a lot of little bass fry swimming around in the shallows. And so that makes sense that they're feeding on. You know, this big one here, it also has something in its stomach. Let's see real quick here. Well, there's part of a crawdad and a fish. There's the crawdad claw. Ugh. That is crazy. Oh, look, there's another piece of crawdad. So that's what these smallmouth have been feasting on. Baby, other bass and crawdads. We'll throw those out there, speaking of crawdads, and they will feast upon those filleted up fish. Let's get some flame going. Woo. Oil coming in hot. Well, actually, it's, it's cold. It'll be hot in a second. And we have the Louisiana fish fry seasoning. Got a little bit in a Ziploc bag right there. And let's add some of this Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning blend. Whoa, spilling it everywhere. Just add a good amount of that to make the... Uh, fish fry which is it's, it's good it's not great though it needs some kick it needs a punch so we add some of that and we give it a good shake to mix it all around and then we will add the fillets of fish Ooh. filleted perfectly if I do say so myself drop that right in Take them all around really good get those nice and breaded see Oh, it is done. Oh, oh, beautiful. And number two, it's gorgeous. And while that is cooking, we will slice up a little lemon. Guys, you should do this yourselves. If you guys are wondering, man, that, how do I do this myself? I have a Walmart catch and cook challenge video where I show you guys, if you're on a budget, how to do your own catch cooks, it is so much fun. Got a little bit of lemon. Anyway, I'll link that video up in the description. You have to check it out if you're interested in doing this yourself. It is so much fun. And it adds a whole nother layer to fishing. Cause it's just, there's something super satisfying about the whole thing. You get to go out fish and then you get to end the day eating your own fish. It's fun. Oh, the fish is done. Well, you know, let's flip it over. Do a little flip flip. Oh, but it's golden brown. We're gonna set the fish right there. And we'll prepare the sliders in a second. I gotta get some more fish on first. Grab one of these bad boys. We will put some mayo. Oops, throwing mayo everywhere. Put a generous portion on there. Both sides of the red. Hey, Pops. Yes, did you catch anything else? 
add some pickle to that bad boy. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? We're just gonna stick a whole filet right there. And then let's add a squeeze of lemon to the top. Now that, my friends, is a fish sandwich. <laughs> Luckily it landed upright. There it is, it is. I dropped it. Anyway, there's a fish sandwich. Hey. See my fresh tomatoes too? I did not see your fresh oh, tomatoes. Oh, I got fresh, pretty tomatoes. No kidding. Yep. Well, you got here just in time. The last pieces of fish are oh, done cooking. Oh my goodness. I already have a sandwich ready for oh, you. Oh my heavens to Betsy, wow. You can just grab one if you want. I will, sir. Yeah. Crazy. So do you want, you bet, you bet. Amen. All right. Wow, oh my goodness, this looks good. We have tomatoes from our garden and fresh fish sandwiches oh that we caught Lord. ourselves. We did not catch the bread ourselves. <laughs> I caught it today <laughs> at Costco. Cheers. Cheers. That's good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It needs a little tomato on it, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 All day long, man. Mm -hmm. Guys, Fish if you've never tried smallmouth, it's good. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like to eat them, especially like tournament fishermen and stuff. I guess we tournament fish, but yeah. man, oh man, they good. are they are good. There's no going back once you eat them. Mm. Mm. So what we're going to do is I have here just a little handful of onions. Uh, I wanted to do this. In fact, you suggested to me, Pops. Yeah. Trying this. I can't carry a whole bunch of stuff out here with me. So I only, I don't want a whole bunch of different like seasonings and blends and stuff. But I thought if I could make onion rings out of the fish fry batter. How is it, this a bad idea? I know. How is it a bad idea? It might be really good. So we're going to drop those in there. Don't know if it'll be any good just coating onions in... Uh, Little fish batter, but we'll see. Oh, hey, so this is nice, isn't it? Mm. All right, fried onions. Fried on my good fish on sandwich. Uh -huh. One more piece. I put the onion ring on or mm -hmm. the onion. I'm gonna pop a tomato, <laughs> garden fresh, and then we'll see. Oh man. Does that add? Does that mm -hmm. add to it? That is really some. good. Alright, I'm gonna try Oh, it's hot. Too hot. <laughs> fried onions on fried fish. Why have we not been doing this? Really good? Oh, I'm gonna put some uh, on mine. Yeah, you will. Alright, let's try a regular. Hot. Oh, man. No. All by themselves, they aren't too bad either. Really? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, on a fish sandwich, it just it adds I a little bit. I can see pop. how that makes a pop. I'm gonna make my other slider here. Adding the crunch. Diggity dog. Bam. Diggity dog. Mm. I'm adding the crunch of the pickles again. Oops. Some of that in the hot oil. Ooh, pickle juice and hot oil. Mmm, fried pickles next time. Ooh, fried pickles. You know, we're just out of pickles. Next time, guys, fried pickles. It's going down. Fish slider right there with crunchy onion. Mm. Huh? Mm. <laughs> that that onion adds a texture mm -hmm. and a flavor. Mm. Boom. On a uh, scale of one to ten, how good was that catch and cook? Oh, ten. Ten? Ten. The fish and the onion rings, pow. The fishing was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, we just hooked into them right away. Not a lot of big ones, but we caught a lot of fish, a lot of fun. I, I agree. Guys, oh, I was going to give it a ten out of ten, too. The food, this was some of the best food I've made. Getting a little bit better at it. Yeah, you are. Oh man, the onions <laughs> too. Onion rings adding that whole element. This was just fantastic. Fishing was great. We hope you guys enjoyed too. Let us know down in the comments section if you guys, what, what else you guys wanna see? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.